Welcome to OG's World of Math. In this video, we want to see angles, we want to look at corresponding angles, alternate angles, vertically opposite angles, and consecutive interior angles. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can kindly do that, share my link, make comments on my video, share your views, click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you get notified. Thank you. Now, uh, if you look at what we have on the board, we have um, parallel lines, I can label them P, Q, P, and Q, and I have a transversal. A transversal is a line that goes through parallel line, and then I can decide to label all the angles um, within and outside the parallel line as, I say, A, B, C, D, now W, X, Y, and Z. Now, I want, to, I want to also look, I want to see the relationship between all of these angles within the parallel line and outside the parallel line will be starting with corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Mm -hmm. What is corresponding angles? The word corresponding simply means the same position. Now, if you look at line P, I have two angles on top of line P, which are C and A. And at the bottom of line P, I have two angles B and D. Similarly, on line Q, at the top of line Q, I have Z and X. At the bottom of line Q, I have W and Y. Now, corresponding simply means the same position. If you look at the top of line A, line P, sorry, I have A. Now, where the position of A on Q is obviously X. So that shows that A and X are both congruent. They are corresponding. That, in other words, A is equal to X. Um, they are both corresponding because they are in the same position. This is at the top of P and this is at the top of Q. So they are both corresponding. Um, at the bottom of P, I have D. At the bottom of Q, I have E. I have Y, sorry. So D is equal to Y. They are corresponding. They are equal. Similarly, C is at the top and Z is at the bottom. Uh, these are the top of the other line. So that shows that C is equal to Z. They are corresponding and then similarly b is at the bottom of p and w is at the bottom of q so that shows b is equal to w they are both corresponding angles now i want to look at alternate angles now for alternate angles we'll be looking at two parts we have alternate interior and then we have alternate exterior alternate interior angles and then we have alternate exterior alternate exterior angles now for alternate interior angle alternate interior angle meaning means that the angle has to fall within the parallel lines right within the parallel line so we'll be considering this angle a and bd um, z and x so because they are the angles within the parallel line now for alternate interior angle it means that one thing you need to identify is that, oh, I have parallel lines and I have a transversal. And then the angles on opposite side of the transversal are, you know, alternate interior. In other words, X is equal to B, alternate interior. So X is equal to B or B equals X. They are alternate interior angle D is equal to Z. D is equal to Z. They are equal. They are both alternate um, interior angle. Similarly, for alternate exterior angle, it means that the angle has to be outside the parallel line. That's why it's called exterior. Now, one thing that will give me um, a clue to getting the alternate exterior angle is the transversal. Now, if you look at the transversal, you know, the angle has to be on opposite side of the transversal. So, if you look at the transversal on this side, I have A, then on opposite side, outside I have W. So that shows that A is equal to W. The relationship between A and W is that they are both alternate exterior angles. Similarly, um, if you look at this, on this side I have C. On, on, on the other side, on, alter, on, on opposite side, I have, um, on alternate side, I have um, Y. So C is equal to y the relationship between c and y is that they are both 
and alternate exterior and then they are equal now we want to look at um consecutive interior angle consecutive interior um, is also known as the co-interior it's called co-interior it's called co-interior angles right now one, one thing you need to know about the consecutive interior angle is that the consecutive interior angle mean, means that the angle has to be within the parallel lines within um, line P and line Q within the parallel lines now now, if you look at the angle between the parallel lines, then I have a transversal. Now, on one side of the transversal, I have a pair of angle. On one side of the transversal, I have a pair of um, angle. For instance, on, on this side of the transversal, I have a pair of angle, D and X. On the other side of the transversal, I have a pair of angle, P and Z. So that tells me that um, these two angles add up to 180 so they in other words they are supplementary they are um, core interior angles so d plus x equal um, 180 degrees and then b plus z b plus z equals 180 degrees they are um, core interior angle or they are um, consecutive interior angle now i want to look at vertically opposite vertically opposite angle now for vertically opposite angle you need to look at where you have intersecting lines on this line p the transversal intersects with line p and also on the line q the transversal also intersects with the line q now if we, if we want to consider this side of it we'll look at we have this line and this line sort of x you have a here and then you have B here you have C here and then you have D here now these are the intersecting lines so the angles apart are called vertically opposite so they are equal so that means that A is equal to B so A is equal to B they are um, vertically opposite and C is equal to D C is equal to um, D they are also vertically opposite angle similarly x is equal to w x is equal to, equals to w they are vertically opposite angle and also y is equal to z y is equal to z they are vertically opposite angle now let's assume we have um 60 degrees here this is an acute angle less than 90 degrees and um, if we want to find if we want to look at this and there is also something else i um i need to tell you it is called straight line angle straight line angles straight line angles this i forget straight line angles all right now for straight line angles uh, one thing you need to look at is that this is a straight line on top of the straight line i have two angles a plus c will give me 180 so a plus c will give me 180 degrees on the bottom of the line i have the straight line and these two angles are on the straight line so b plus d b plus d is equally 180 degrees similarly um if we, on this side similarly if i look at this this is a straight line a plus d will give me 180 a plus d will give me 180 degrees and also this is a straight line i have b plus c b plus c equals 180 because sum of angle on the straight line add up to 180 if we look at this other side um we can because of space let me write it here straight line straight line again on the other side if we consider this x plus z x plus z will give me 180 degrees w plus y on the straight line will give me 180 degrees w plus y is 180 degrees and also we can see on this straight line x plus y x plus y is 180 degrees and also we can see this um, z, w, z w plus z w plus z is also 180 degrees sum of angle on the straight line is 180 degrees then you can solve we can solve this problem you know using different um, of this um, angles um, this is a straight line 
sum of angle on the straight line is 180, uh, 180 degrees. So if I subtract 180 from 60 from 180, I'm going to get 120. So this is 120 degrees. So this and this are these are intersecting lines. The vertically opposite angle D will be 120 as well. B will be um, 60 degrees um, vertically opposite. Now, if I want to get X, now this line and this line are corresponding. So this is at the top and this is at the top. So this is also 60 because this is 60. At the bottom, um, D is 120 here. Y is also 120 degrees. They are um, corresponding angles. So I can do the, the relationship between this and this. Um, this is also 120 degrees because um, this is intersecting lines and, I, and the relationship between X and Z is that they are um, both um, vertically opposite angles. Similarly, um, X is equal to W. W is also 60 degrees um, vertically opposite angles. Thanks for watching my video. I believe this video will be very helpful for you. You can always subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math. Share your views concerning my video. Share my link. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.